Hello everybody, how is it going? My name is Lucas and Fractal Audio just had some leaks today and ladies and gentlemen, we are getting a brand new product from them called the VP4. Now what this is, is going to be a virtual pedal board. They, today has been insane. So the first picture I saw was from the Shanghai music event that's going on right now. A picture leaked of the new VP4 in the case people are like, oh man, that might be fake. But it looked real to me because it was like right next to some other Fractal stuff. And then after that, the big thing that I actually have right now that I actually got taken down is the manual. So what I'm going to do today is I'm going to go through the manual, talk about things, kind of show you everything that I can do. So what the VP4 essentially is, is it's the spiritual successor to the FX8. For those who don't remember, the FX8 was a lot like this. It was a little like pedal board, but it had all of the effects that the Axe FX2 had, but it was strictly just made to be worked with amps. So like the buffers on it were a lot better, meant to work with amps than say on the Axe FX2, and it just had little things on it that made more sense because if you were using it with like an amp or if you're using it with like other models or something like that. That is what this is. So let's dive in real quick and check out the VP4. So this is what the VP4 looks like. Very much the same. And what's included in here is it's just effects. There's no amps, there's no cabs, it's just straight up effects. And there's actually some newer stuff in here that's actually like not on the Axe FX3 or the FM9 FM3. Let's go down. Do you have your table of contents? You have your disclaimers, welcome stuff, blah, 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 blah. There's a hundred of different effects, 435 as of writing this based on the awarding XFX3. I'm gonna kind of go slow so you can kind of check everything out. You can kind of, if you want to pause the video and, and look at stuff. And so you have four different modes. So all the modes, one and two, and these are gonna be, one and two is gonna be mode select, it's gonna be a tap tempo. You can, uh, when you do mode selecting, you do preset mode, scene mode, effect mode, uh, tuner, tap tempo, preset mode. You go through all of your different presets. Scene mode, you cycle through all of your different scenes on your current preset. So I'll, I'll, I'll talk about that more later at the end, like the difference between like a scene and stuff like that. For those who don't know, you have effects mode. You can go bypass and engage right here, and you have tap tempo mode, or if you want to exit, you can go to the tuner. So the tuner is probably the exact same when it's on the Axe FX3, which Max FX3 tuner is awesome. I love it. So you can like name your preset. So like your preset is like, you know, you like um, 70 sounds, for example. That's actually a preset we're gonna look at. So they have 70 sounds. And then so, so scene one, you do like Led Zeppelin and you have like Pink Floyd. So the different scenes, you can arrange things through different scenes and each block has four different things you can set it to. So you can have, so you can have like, you have four blocks and you have four different things you can do within those blocks. So you can kind of arrange it how, Ever you want. I'm kind of going faster because I don't really want to keep you all day. This is what it looks like. You can do home, save, you can move page, you can do enter. You also do have VP4 edit, which is like all the other Fractal products. You can edit it on the computer, which to me, that's like the easiest way. I mean, this is kind of a little like, like a little pedal board. So if you want to edit it when you're on the fly, like on a gig and stuff like that, um, it, it's going to take some getting used to. There's no touch screen on it. It, it looks sound kind of a little intuitive. It, I mean, things got a lot better with Axe Fax 3. The Axe Fax 2 was kind of bad. Uh, it took some getting used to, but there is no touch screen, which I, I this is going to be triggering, but I like that there's no touch screen because that's just another thing that can break. It's just nothing that can go wrong, but you have physical knobs, which, which are great. Fractal's been doing this forever, so this should not be a surprise to anybody. And here's the back panel, the IO. So you have, you have left and right inputs, left and right outputs. You have some spaces for pedals if you want to, it's essentially like an in and out on it too, you can run out of the pedals. You have Spitif on it, which is freaking awesome. I love Spitif. You have USB-C, and it says it right here. It's a two by two, 24 bit, 48, 48 kilohertz audio interface. So you can work on Mac computers. So you can use it as an interface, which is really cool. Has MIDI in and out, and it also has nine volt DC, which makes sense because it's going on like a pedal board, so it can be powered by your pedal power system or however you're powering it, you, you can power it. So you two connecting expansion pedals. Oh yeah, it's for expansion pedals. I'm sorry, I kind of misspoke. Uh, you can do expansion pedals. So like if you want to, it's for like, so like for your waz or like if you want to use this volume pedal or you can tie different things to your expansion pedals and like you can like change different things in the effects itself which is actually really cool. And like you have input level, 
our effects mono stereo it goes into this whole thing right here about it like i said i'm just going to pause right here so you can kind of look at stuff if you want to read it pause the video i'm just trying to get to all the good stuff uh, you have a tuner you can unmute the tuner you can do different display modes in the tuner i mean it's just like everything else like any any good great tuner you can change stuff on there. You can connect your expression pedals. Uh, I like these little FAQs in here. Whoever copy wrote this manual, I don't know if you ever watched this, but you did a great job. I really like it. It's very spaced, evenly laid out. I like the FAQs of things. Uh, so it shows you stuff for the recording right here. Uh, this is what VP. Uh, so this can. This is what VP4 edit looks like. So these pictures in here are naturally compressed like this. I didn't do any. Of this, that's just kind of how it looks like. Uh, you're gonna use Fractobot. Fractobot, you use that for everything. Fractal to push updates and take stuff off, take stuff on, uh, stuff like that. So this is what it looks like. So like, so you have your different drives, and you can put different drives in there, and you can change the different parameters of it. This is kind of like a little basic overview of it. Uh, you can use set of a classic pedal board. You know, guitar here, then you run it through the instrument in on the amp, and you, or, or to your model, however you want to do it. And you can set it up with other pedals if you want. Or if you want to send it in your effects loop, which which is awesome. You, you know, connect it to your ant, put it in your effects loop, and you're good to go. Which this is gonna be awesome for like people who like look, I just use amps, but it would be kinda nice to have all of my effects in one little place, especially if you're going to uh you fly into a gig, you go and do some worship stuff, whatever. You have everything night in a nice little box, which is which is awesome. And it explains you about some loops. Uh, special, you gotta do some special settings for four cable method, which you can use your Axe Fx or any Fractal product with four cable method. It has been very popular over the years. You can set it up post and pre. You can actually set it up with any of the FM3s, FM9s, however you wanna do it. You can set it up with, with any of them, all of them. Do it however you want. It's basically like if you wanna offload the effects to the VP4, you can basically do that. If you want to do that too, uh, it goes into it. Oh, let me, let me kind of stop right here, so you y'all can kind of look. Uh, factory presets. We're gonna go. Down. This is the different block types we have right here. Uh, it's just going into the different drives that we have. It's just giving you kind of examples of them. Oh, uh, and it's a good segue if you want to check out the drives in the Axe Effects order. It's technically gonna be in here too. Check out my series drives of the Axe Effects three. So exciting part. This is gonna be the effects inventory. So. You have your chorus, your compressor, delay, drive, enhancer, which the enhancer is awesome. I love to use this on my lead patches. It like kind of just makes things sing. You have a filter, you have a flanger, you have a format. This is new. We don't have this in any of the other factors of this, so I'm pretty sure we don't. The format creates a dynamic vowel sound and talk effects. You have your gate, graphic EQ, mega tap, multi, 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 multi delay. I cannot talk. Parametric EQ, phaser, pitch shifter, plex delay, resonator, reverb, ring mod, rotary, synth. Tremolo, volume pan, and watt. Now this little block right here is really awesome because it says that it changes some things from the FM, from every other fractal product. It changes it around a little bit, and this there's some uh, stuff that's in here that's not necessarily in the other units. And it goes into that right here. I thought that was really great. Uh, talking about you know CPU, so you can save some CPU. Kind of stop right there for you. It gives a preset tutorial. Tells you how to route. And then bypass mode, switching, intro channels, and intro to scenes. I'm going to show you something at the very end. Now, that a guy on the, the gear page laid it out beautifully. So, you, like I said, you get four different blocks, and you can turn them on, and you can turn them off. You have four different things you can change to within the scenes. Four different channels. Oh, you have four different channels in each block that you can change through. Okay, so let me the FAQ. Right here, channels tutorial, I'll probably should stop on that. Modifiers. I would link this in the, the description, but it's kind of not there. Uh, hopefully Fractal doesn't get mad at me for putting this out in a video. I doubt they're ever gonna send me anything early or or ever allow me to be an artist ever. So I figured why not? Let me just throw this up there. I mean, they share my stuff on Instagram, which I'm very grateful for. You can set up menu, and you can set up the audio, it goes into stuff right there. If you've ever used any type of Axe Effects or even looked at it or a few friends had it, it's pretty much the same thing. Uh, pretty much everything is this here, but like I said, it's made to be it's made to be used with like amps. It's made to be used with external things. I had a master reset. Here are some specifications. Some of you guys are probably gonna, gonna wanna look at this. I don't know what DSP chip they used, by the way. Here are the dimensions of it right here if you want to start prepping your 
pedal board or a case for it and MIDI implementation it does have MIDI on here uh, ELE we don't care about that now this is a factory presets um, you have 70s pedals another take on the basic throwback vintage EHS effects bossy effects country living mod squat racks drive 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 I imagine it's stacked pod drive pedals this uh, black black panel dad rock that's cool trimmer loss I wonder who made all these presets Baritone, AW Clean, AW Lead, Spaghetti Western, that's really cool. Box of Crunch, MF Faz, Marco Ferrer created this preset. Oh, there we go, answers the questions. We actually know who made some of those. I was to draw. Wow, they have a lot of presets. Rack Post Gods. Oh, Le oh look, uh, I knew Leon Todd had one. Uh, Larry Mitchell had one, yep. Uh, Cooper, I'm, I'm sure Cooper Carter had some something to do with these presets too. Because. Andy Wood, good to see Andy Wood. Oh, I get it, I get it, I get it, I get it. I get it. Ah, uh, yes. MF is Marco, AW is Andy Wood. So I assume these are the guys who had it early and they sent it to him early so they could make some presets. Oh, oh. <laughs> this is, um, <laughs> it's just funny. This is Alex Lifeson's uh, effects right here. Uh, and I imagine he submitted one. <laughs> the, this is funny right here. I love that. Blah, 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 blah. That's really funny. Uh, based on, wow, look at that. You can have some bass. Oh, showing some love to the basses. And that is the end of the manual. So, guys, as we wrap it up here. Oh, there's one other thing I wanted to show you. Let's see if I still have it up. Yes, I do. So, let's check it out. So, you pick four effects blocks. Mr. Lazu, I think I how you say his name, from the gear page. You pick four effects blocks, and you have an effects category in each block. Drive, mod, delay, reverb. You have four channels in each block, which can be any model or the same model or different settings. So, yes, you have four blocks, and you have four channels within each block. And then you have four scenes within each preset, if that makes any sense. So, you can have, you can do it, like, per song if you want, or if you have, want to have, like, all drives, all, you can do, like, whatever you want basically oh yeah scene one rhythm scene two uh bridge lead outro however you want to do it so you essentially have four or four effects on tap is essentially uh, what it is so guys thank you for spending some time with me i hope this was helpful for some of you we do not know price i have not seen anything about price at all right now i'm gonna make a prediction i'm gonna say this is gonna be in the 750 range 700 to 750 somewhere around there because that makes sense because you have a lot of this stuff already in the, the FM3, and the FM3 is $1,000. So I imagine, since you're taking some stuff out and it's rearranged a little bit, I imagine it's going to be cheaper than that because it kind of like hits that sweet spot of the other other boards. I imagine it'd be uh, around that. I think that's what it's going to be. We have no confirmation right now. I'm trying to think of anything else I missed. I can't think of anything. Look, if I got anything wrong, let me know in the comments down below. If you heard anything... Put in the comments down below. Let's just kind of make this like a place where we can kind of like share information about it. A fractal, please don't get too mad at me since I'm sharing the manual since you technically took it down already. Uh, we don't know a release date. We don't know a price. All we know is pretty much everything else about it, what it does. And guys, thank you for spending some time with me. I really appreciate it. You thought this video is cool, leave me a thumbs up. I would greatly appreciate it if you aren't sub. You should. Lots of cool stuff coming. And I'll catch you next one. Peace.